Hi guys, it's Shandi. So I want to quickly share with you some pocket letters that my daughter and myself finished. And then I have some albums that I need to share that I wanted to show my friend Trina. Um, and let's get started because I have quite a bit. So as far as the pocket letters, I'm showing you my daughter's first. So she's going to have her little tag here on the side. I think it's cute seeing everybody do that. Um, put the little because I mean that's a good way for you to know where these things are coming from so when I started that I was like it was just made it easier when you're going through the book and you can see um, everybody's name and their state but anyway so she has to still put that on here but this is one of her pocket letters and this one is for a 12 year old little girl the same age as my daughter she's got some stamping and I'm not going to go all into detail because this video is going to be forever planner clips, some stamps, some more stamping and stickers and washi. She, I taught her how to use the fuse, so she made a um, shaker pocket with a little My Little Pony faux button in there. The little girl loves My Little Pony and her favorite color is blue. That's why she chose these colors. Um, she's got some washi tape samples, some stickers, wood, some die cuts that she cut out, her letter, she used to fuse some more and added some little stickers and erasers and stuff like that. So that is this one. There's nothing on the back but her about me and I don't want to share that. So that's the first one that my daughter did. And then this one she did. She added, this is for a seven-year-old. Um, she added this little planner clip. I guess that's what that's for. Um, some little page stickers, music notes. My daughter's into music. You may hear her in the background playing in the garage. Um, she's a violinist. Um, some bling stickers. She made her a pearl or bead bow after one of the My Little Pony characters. Her letter, it says for the princess, thought it was cute. This pocket here has a whole bunch of cards that she can color in different characters and themes. This is her shaker pocket that she did. I thought it was really cute. I love the foiled glasses. I actually, that's mine. She actually stole it. <laughs> um, this pocket here has word search. She's got a ton of buttons on this pocket here. And this one she made to go with this one here to hold a couple of crayons for her to be able to color her images. So this is a die that I have that I love. I got from Paper Tree Ink. Um, and then this one here has just a bunch of different goodies, stickers, um, puffy stickers, these little word beads and die cuts. So that's this one. And I don't think there is nothing. Nope. There's nothing on the back of that one. So that's that one. Now on to mine. I'm going to show this one first. This one is going to someone in Australia and I kept this one super simple because it's going overseas and I'm trying to not do too much to the ones that go overseas so they cost a lot to send. Um, but I just have a letter pocket, some buttons and flowers. Um, it says goodies on this one and I use those ATC um, pre-printed cards that you can get at Hobby Lobby for this. I have some sequins on here. It says friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things. I've used that before. Here's a banner die from my period of time. I have a game in here that she can do. I like making them interactive, so I love to include those. Um, a little Polaroid um, from a what collection is that? The Snap Collection. And then down here, I just have this little vellum shaker pocket that has... So, and this isn't sealed, it's just folded so she can use the envelope again as well as all the sequins and stuff in there with a the paper clip. Uh, some page flags. I cut out some of those little tiny bolt bows. Wow. In gold foil. And I'm sorry if I'm going so fast, but like I said, I have a lot to share with you guys and I don't want this video to be that long. And then on the back here is one of my planner clips that I've included in polka dot bow. Really cute. Some foiled words I cut out in thanks and love. My letter, washi tape samples, and some sequin trim. Um, I shared with her some of these pockets that I got from Tracy. And some cloud punch, punch clouds. 
Georgia magnet. She sent me an Australia one, so I wanted to send her a Georgia one. Stickers is in this pocket. Some die cuts is in this envelope. And some seeds is in this one. So, really simple. Like I said, this is going overseas, so I wanted to keep this one simple. Okay. Next pocket letter is going to a six-year-old. Um, his grandmother asked in the Facebook group if anybody could send him some pocket letters because he likes to get mail. So, of course, I love doing stuff for kids because you can just have fun with those. Um, so I did him a dinosaur theme one. She said he loves dinosaurs. So on the side here, it looks like I have a dinosaur choking. But um, he's just tied here on the side. These are those little hard plastic dinosaurs. I'm sending a couple of these and I wanted to attach one to the pocket letter. So first of all, I used a 12 by 12 um, Becky Higgins Project Life um, what is these? pocket page. So um, I had some stuff that I wanted to give him that was large and plus I wanted to do something different. So anyway, I used a sticker that says the great outdoors dinosaurs from Silhouette Online Store. Um, this is a die that I have, this sun. I have T-Rex on the outside here is dimensional and um, it says explore and then T-Rex and he's shimmered just a little. On this pocket it says warning do not feed the wildlife with some stars and some enamel dots. I made him a paper bookmark here that he can just do whatever, tear it up, whatever he wants to do on mini six. So um, this is a shaker pocket and I thought it would be kind of, I outlined it to make it kind of look like one of those little sandbox things like you're digging for dinosaur bones. So um, that is a shaker pocket. Here I have a little letter. Um, there's another dinosaur. I don't know what this one is. So if you do, I don't know what his name is. I'm going to have to try to find it. But if you know, just please post it down below so I can go ahead and make a tag to go here to let Aaron know. This one, he probably already knows, but this one here just has his name, and I found a graphic dinosaur skin, um, and I put it in his name. And then it says, I love exploring, with another little mini dinosaur here at the top. And then the back, I have this little Stegosaurus cards. I don't know, some of you may remember these. These are from way back when, when they used to do these, I mean years ago. But this is one of those little um, cards, like encyclopedia cards. And it's about the stegosaurus, and there's information on the back as well as there's some information on the front. I thought he would enjoy that one. And then for this pocket right here, hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if you can even see that. Okay, I have the Ninja Turtles in there. It's a Ninja Turtle dog tag. I thought that would be cute, and that's one of the reasons why, because it's super large. And then I have some pixie sticks, and there's another little dinosaur card that's tucked in that he can pull out. The letter, the shaker. Here I have a little coloring um, page that he can color. I'm going to add some crayons here on the back of the letter pocket. He can use those to color this. Another little dinosaur card. And then back here is one of those little growing things that you put in water and it grows and changes colors. This is some type of lizard. See his tongue sticking out? <laughs> and then it changes colors. So that's the other reason why I needed a larger pocket. And then here I have some dimensional stickers that he can have fun playing with of different little reptiles and stuff. Amphibians. So there is my, sorry, there is my pocket for, um, pocket letter for Aaron. And also I'm including these little Skylander character cards for him as well. So that is for Aaron. And then I also needed to share with you really quick, um, my friend Trina wanted to see these. They are these little albums um, that I'm going to be using for this summer. So this one is um, an Instagram type album, Trina, and I just, you know, I have, this one's going to be we're using for the botanical gardens when we go to the botanical gardens here. And I already have it with the inserts in it and I have it labeled where I'm going to be sticking pictures and doing shaker pocket pockets so it's all ready to go and I picked this up in the inserts um I'm sorry from Joann's um so 
Yeah, so that's one that you can use. And this one's by DCWV, this one. And then this one is another one that's also by DCWV. This one is the one that comes with the stickers and the little washi tape samples, which I honestly don't really care for, but, and you know, I may use some of them. I don't know. But I already decorated the first page of this. And if you can see that. So, yeah. Um, and this one comes with, it has envelopes in here. It's got some pockets in here. So this is great for the summer to keep all your pictures and memorabilia. It comes with these little, um, what do you call those? Um, these little extra pieces of ephemera and stuff that you can use. So that is the other one. And then... The next thing I'll do, I'll do a separate video because this video is already at 10 minutes. So I will see you in the next video showing you the next one. All right, guys. Bye.